We the poo. Okay. We the poo. La da da. Hi, welcome to the game room, you guys. I'm Jared. And I'm a very sleepy Ryan. We're going to be talking a lot about Rift. Correction. He's going to be talking a lot about Rift. Because I'm poor, and I'm not getting Rift yet. I'm going to stick to WoW. So, the way this is going to work is he's going to do most of the Rift stuff, and I'm going to be most doing most of the WoW stuff. Nah. Uh, uh, yeah, we're pretty much just going to do, like, a comparison uh, as soon as I can get more in-depth with the game and have enough material to, you know, make arguments and counterpoints and points and Other all that way. all that stuff. That being said, uh, I'm going to go first and let him do, do most of the talking in the end because I don't have that much to say. What I wanted to say to you guys on this video is, uh, like, as far as WoW goes, there's tons of WoW channels out there and tons of WoW stuff out there. So I'm going to yeah. try to think of what I could do. And I was like, well, my main my main tune is a hunter, 85 hunter, right? So I'll figure I'll probably have, like, a hunter guide coming out, Marksman, uh, Beastmaster, as my spec now. But I'll probably be doing uh, all three specs, so I've played all three specs, and I know all three specs. Uh, yeah, him. Yeah, but you <laughs> never played your hunter. No, well, I rated with a hunter in Wrath of the Lich King, and that was a special animal in and of itself. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of rating, as far as rating goes, uh, I'm not rating in Cataclysm, and I don't intend to rate in Cataclysm, because honestly, I don't have time for the time for the type of schedule, the rating schedule that I want to do. Even if I could fit in, like, <laughs> it was casual, like, half a boss a week type yeah. schedule, like, I couldn't fit it in, because I just, school and work is, yeah. it's, it's, it's too much, I couldn't fit it in, so, luckily, there's other aspects to the game other than rating, so I'm getting into PvP, and I'm, uh, gonna be leveling a lot of tunes, you might be seeing some, like, like, let's play, insert class here, you know, so, yeah. who knows. Which, I was in a rating guild, uh, for a little while, at, well, after Cataclysm launched, and, uh, it it was definitely weird because you know all these all these guilds are coming up and you know downing the bosses like like it's nothing and you know for the casual guilds it, it, it's it was kind of a slap to the face because they were they were very challenging raid bosses and you know I'm all for the challenge but when it comes down to it if it's a casual raiding guild that isn't going to put the time that the hardcore guilds are putting into it, then it kind of defeats the purpose of having those raids in the first place because you're going to have gaming clicks or raiding clicks because you have these, this group of elitist people that have all their gear two to three weeks after content is launched, and then you have these other uh, guilds that. Uh, have most of their gear still working on a few pieces, and then you have everyone else that doesn't have any gear at all. And uh, my guild, unfortunately, was in the lower tier of those cliques. Um, none of us really had any gear, uh, and it, it was it was just plain awful. <laughs> Our raid nights were one boss a night, and in it's not really that fun when you're wiping, you know, 40 to 50 times in a night, and then if you can't down that boss that night, guess what? You have to look forward to the next night, you know? It, it's, it's just really, it's just not good. It's kind of a vicious cycle, you know, yeah. because you go in there with no gear to down bosses to get more gear, but because you have no gear, you can't down the bosses, so night after night... You have to keep wiping on bosses, hoping that you get to down them and get more gear so you can not wipe. Yeah. Which, um, with the launch of 4.1, um, all of the Valor Point gear that they have right now will be uh, available for purchase with Justice Points, which um, I think is awesome because that gives a chance 
for all the uh, the lower tier guilds to uh, to just go and you know run a few more heroics and get the ju their justice points up. You know if they haven't already you know got all their justice points gear and already hit justice point cap again, then they'll be able to you know buy a few pieces of valor gear or what is now valor gear so that they can get into those raids they weren't able to complete and then get the rest of their gear so that they can start the next set of Valor Point gear. Exactly. So, so hey. the system <laughs> will eventually fix itself, but for right now, um, for what it's worth, it's not really stable as it is. But anyway, because it's around. like, to, to raid, to be good at raiding, you have to be good at raiding. Yeah. So that you can get your good rating gear so you can be good at rating. It's like... Yeah, it's completely backwards. But, yeah, you know, like it should blizzard. be... It, yeah, whatever, <laughs> Blizzard. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean... Uh, I have a... I'm, my Hunter is my only level uh, 85 tune, so... I have a lot of other ones that are in the making. So you can expect to see more from me than just Hunter videos. Uh, I'll probably be making guides for... Maybe a druid, feral druid, maybe a uh, warlock, because I'm really I like my warlock a lot. But uh, anyway, first off, though, I need to figure out how to record what's on my screen and what's coming through my computer mic at the same time. I need to figure out a program it's that valuable, has that. valuable information. Yeah, if anyone out of our like three viewers know <laughs> <laughs> knows uh, knows of any software that does that, which I know there is one. I just don't know what it is. Leave it in the comments or something so I can get a hold of that and, uh, yeah. Rift. I have a lot to say about Rift. And, uh, you know, it, it, it just hit uh, pre-launch um, last, last Thursday. hit pre-launch. Right before pre-launch, uh, Trion Worlds uh, announced that they had uh, a few million accounts made um, just prior to pre-launch and that is very exciting because that means uh, not only were there at least a million pre-ordered copies that means there are a crap ton of people playing this game 